Well, hey, today I'm on a new listing. Uh, I'm in Polk County, Wisconsin, and I'm just a little bit outside of the area called Clam Falls, the city of Clam Falls and Indian Creek. And I'm on a new property. This is it. And uh, this is a nice looking 80 acre, little tillable field up front. I see a little buildable spot here with electricity. Looks like cell uh, telephone. Let's go take a look at this. This is a nice looking property. It's in a really high density area of Polk County. There's about, I think there's 46 deer per square mile up here, about a five buck uh, per square mile ratio. Um, I own a farm not too far from here, so I know this pretty well. It's a good looking property. Let's go take a look. Well, 50% of the buyers that I sell to are looking for properties that have no buildings on it. And that's the case here. And I might say it's even higher than that. They like to come into these properties and you know do their own thing. But what's nice about this one is that this building site is right on the road. Got a nice big, I bet this was a homestead, big old trees. These were probably planted. I'm sure there was a house up here at one time. That's my guess, but a nice little building spot right by the road. It's a good little feature. I know a lot of guys this year were talking about how they didn't see any deer and uh, Polk County, I think it's a real sleeper. It's a high deer density area. It's got some nice trophies and I see a couple beds here. There's one there, there's one right back there. And uh, Lucy's running around like crazy. She's smelling the deer tracks. Here she comes. And uh, there's a lot of tracks throughout here. This property is in the MFL um, closed and I'm seeing a lot of browse in here. It hasn't been logged for a number of years. A lot of food in here and I uh, can't see it, but probably a hundred yards that way is a cornfield loaded with tracks. It's off the property, but the deaf deer are definitely feeding there using this as their hiding bedding spot, I'm sure. Let's keep looking. You know, in the winter time, it's critical for these deer to have woody browse in the form of all these little tips like this. They love to be out in those cornfields and I'm definitely seeing a lot of sign out there, but this is where they're bedding in here. You can see a real high stem count here. You can't see more than, I don't know, 30, 40 yards through here. This is really nice to see. He put another food plot up front. Guy got this pick corn field over here. I'm sure this place is loaded with deer during the winter. Great late season hunt. And I'd love to be in here for muzzleloader. Lots of sign. One thing you want to do when you're evaluating these properties is, is there any value in timber? And um, this is in the MFL close and it's due for a cut soon, I think. It's got about five years left. I'll get the plan, I'll know for sure. But I look for these trees like this. This is a, this is a red oak and you can see pretty tall and straight. Not a lot of seams. Get a couple nice saw logs out here. It's about 20 inches at breast height. This is a good log to take out and they would love to take this. But as I look around in here, I like to see these trees. It's grown up just enough that it, there's a little sunlight still hitting the ground. All the small stuff is still budding out and the deer have food. Uh, you can still get some nice shots through here, some easy cut and shooting lanes, but it's thick enough to hold the deer. So I personally wouldn't cut this. I'd recommend not a cut, uh, but this is kind of what you look for. Not a lot of timber value here because of the MFL. They took it out 15 years ago or so when it was cut, but it's good for deer hunting. It's healed up and it looks really nice on the level for deer hunting, which makes it very saleable to guys like you. So I like to see this. So now I'm on to a old logging road. As you can see, it's taken off through the woods here. I just popped out into it as I kind of worked my way through this field, through this woods in a kind of a random manner. Um, you don't see this unless you get into the woods, but this type of infrastructure is really helpful. You'd want to come in and mow this stuff down, open these up. Having infrastructure through the property brings a lot of value, and that's, that is a benefit of the logging. They put this in when they logged it out. So just today, somebody asked me about, you know, what do I think about the MFL program? Would I put it in there? And, I tell them yes and no. If you're looking for the tax savings, it's definitely a plus. If you're looking for the logging uh, dollars, it's definitely a plus. But if you log it, you gotta let it heal. And here's a perfect example. So I'm on an edge here. This is fairly thick, as you can see. And hopefully it shows up on the camera, but I can see, gosh, I don't know, 100 yards through that timber there. It's much more open. And so I would say this is a well done cut. They've come in here and they've cut some areas heavy. This area I've cut a little less and there's always edge. And as a result of the edge, you get the growth of, of um, woody brows and then you get this. 
these deer are tearing it up in here. Urine, just tracks, they're digging like crazy. They're just sawing all throughout here and they're following this edge here. And these are really great places to hunt and it's just great for habitat and it really helps me sell the property because it tells a great story of management and that's what people like to see. Getting close to the end of the tour, but I wanted to show you a trail there. I just came down that trail and I'm heading down that trail, heading back to the big field. So lots of these through here, great ways to sneak in, lots of winds. I got a southern wind in my face today, so you could come in this end, do a J-hook around and get over there and catch those deer coming off that uh, cornfield. Lots of options to hunt in here. Pretty good, I like that. Here's something I like to see. So I've done a loop through the woods. I'm coming back, I'm on the south end and there's just this natural opening here. Probably was a crop field at one time. Could easily be cleaned up, brush hogged out, put a food plot. You got a killer tree stand tree right there. You got a trail coming out here. There's tracks on it, there's tracks coming through here. Just a nice looking bedding area perhaps. A little clover, a little brassica patch. Maybe get some corn or soybeans in here. Killer, this would be awesome. Here's something we like to see. Nice rubs, I'm in a little stand of aspen here. They're all over through here. You know, this area here in Polk County is known for, you know, 130, 140 class, maybe occasional 150, 160. You know, if you get 170 inch, that's probably pretty top end. So, you know, nice deer numbers, good deer density, just a nice quality hunt. Okay, well, that's it. Uh, nice looking property. So let's do the landman summary. Um, Nice open field here. This could be put in back into production. A little tillable corn, soybean on the south end. Roads right in front of me. The timber looks really good. You know, it's in the MFL um, closed program and it's due for a cut uh, in a few years maybe, but not now, there's not a lot of timber value, but it's got really good infrastructure. I like that. Lots of trails throughout here. You're gonna be able to sneak in and out of there. Um, on the west side, there's a cornfield, a lot of food over there. Just trails galore, coming in and out, tracks, beds everywhere. Um, great stem count, I would say. Uh, there's a lot of woody browse in there, so these deer are gonna have plenty of food. And this is a great uh, county. You know, you're only an hour and a half or so from the Twin Cities, so equity upside in the future. It's just a great location. If you're interested in this property or any of the properties that the Wisconsin landmen have, Give me a call, we'll come out here, we'll take you a tour. I like this area myself, I bought here, so you can trust me, it's a worth buying. I hope to be your guy in the land business. As always, thanks for watching.